Okay, when, when you, for example, here string two part of the pattern together in a real world, we have an top stitch to this uh, connection <coughs> segments. So for doing that, we have a tool here called top stitch. If you hold on your mouse, we have three tools, segment top stitch, free top stitch, and seam line top stitch, that's gonna explain you. <coughs> for example, uh, first I want to explain it here that it's very more easy and comfortable to see. Uh, as you can see, you can add the top stitch to uh, outline and of course internal line. It's crazy. I explain you with the internal line. First, you can select the segment top stitch. As you can see, you can simply click in a segment and done. As you can see, it's here at the top stitch for you. This is a top stitch. <clears throat> this is a segment, okay? Uh, another top stitch that you can uh, create is a free top stitch. For example, from here to here. As you can see, you can add a top stitch uh, here. <clears throat> uh, another top stitch is a uh, seam line. For doing that, I go in here, uh, for example, uh, in this part, I want to add a top stitch here. I going to give a no 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 that's bad a color that you can see better top stitch in a color we give a color yeah that's okay <clears throat> I want to add a top stitch in this seam in a seam top stitch the seam line top stitch. For example, if you want to add a top stitch, if you go to the segment, you click here and add a top stitch here. In a real world, we have to add another top stitch in uh, other seam. So you have to click also here. Okay, it's two way. If you want to delete the top stitch, you have to go to the edit. As I said before, if you see, uh, the, for example, as you can see, we have to uh, any tool. Uh, the main tool is this and the edit tool is the tool that we have a little cursor on this if you select it you can select the top stitch here and delete them okay for editing <coughs> uh, okay uh, for doing uh, automatically add a seam line to both sides of the swimming part you have to use a seam line top stitch a seam line top stitch is a free mode and it's it's just work uh, on a seam that you sewing to each other okay it does not uh, uh, <clears throat> affect uh, open uh, segment that they are not swing you have to swing to each other so click and then for example you can click here that you want a shoulder or i think it's better to click in here to here and as you can see you can add the uh, swimming to two part after that you can go to the edit and edit it and snap it to the here if you want <clears throat> as you can see the top stitch is uh, go automatically to both sides of okay going back to here i want to give an example if you want to edit it as you can see, if you click it in a, if you click on a top stitch when you create it, we have an properties here, and it's automatically go to the top stitch tab. Here, if you click on a top stitch, it's like a fabric here. In the tab, if you click on top stitch, you can add a, a lot of top stitch and then define it to <clears throat> segment. When you click in a main top stitch, we have a lot of more sitting that you can um, change the main properties of the top stitch that I will be explaining now. First, if you select the uh, top stitch uh, in itself, we have uh, a simple sitting here, extend. In extend, as you can see, uh, it is uh, extend on and in a start. As you can see, it's defined uh, this segment and stop it here. If you select it, turn it off, as you can see, it passed from here and it's it's exactly parallel with uh, this segment. <clears throat> it's also happen in a start. 
Okay, so we need extend in a start and off to this situation. The corner, the corner happen here. For example, select this uh, segment to change its properties. And here in the corner, you can active the curve. And here you can define the curve that you want. Is it, it's here the full right angle. You can turn it on or off. Uh, the offset, this is a Z offset. It is, uh, we have two offset that I will explain. If you select it, we have offset here. Uh, this is our default segment. If you, default top stitch, exactly like a fabric. If it is active and change its properties, if you click in uh, top stitch tool, it's create uh, this top stitch for you. You can add another top stitch here, change it, change its properties, and the software define this top stitch and give all the segment exactly this top stitch that you change. I'll go back to select this, and this is a Z offset in millimeter. It's uh, how many millimeters offset from the pattern in a 3D. For example, in some situation, you have fur and uh, sharp off, for example, uh, closest that the top stitch uh, dis disappear into the fabric and you can bring it up, little up. Another offset is the offset from the line. It's in a 2D, okay? So for, for the Z, it's... it's different here in the flip you can uh, go the other side of the uh, um, segment or another side okay uh, if you select the top stitch we have the main sitting here that we can change we can change the name uh, here you can change the type i will explain you uh, in the next lessons the, uh, if you you can insert a real obj and of course it is a uh, real obj a file it's exactly 3d file in obj here an offset here an offset you can change the offset of the uh, top stitch uh, here as you can see uh, i have to select it i think no this isn't default top stitch i have to delete i i add a <laughs> top stitch and as we can see, I changed the properties and they does not change because this is a default top stitch that are here. So here you can change the offset. As we can see, the offset in a zero, it's exactly go in a line. For seeing that, you can go here and uh, turn off the... Oh, sorry. Where was that? Here you can... Let's lock and um, change the offset for example any number that you want and stitch the count you can create two line of a stitch if you want as you can see here we have for example two three and we have a one two three tab here for changing properties on its own for example we have two and if you want to use the same properties you can turn off on for both or you can use the same material if you want to uh, affect both of them if you changed its properties as you can see we have the same properties for two top stitch well, in this example i give you one specification here you can change the shape from the single custom any shape that you want like this <clears throat> okay you can change the shape of the top stitch here zigzag for example okay <sighs> a single this is a length you can change the length of the top stitch or the spacing between them here you can change the with uh, length of the top stitch any length that you want in standard order okay and here you can change the spacing between them in centimeters. So be aware of a high number. Here you can change the spacing between them. Here you can change the thickness, thread thickness here. 
to number you can change the unit of the uh te this is a text unit for top stitch yeah you can change the different uh unit of the top stitch here the material you can define which material mats shiny fur leather to top stitch here we have a texture is automatically give its texture it has not normal map if you click it as you can see we have a uh, texture top stitch exactly here you can add another uh, texture top stitch to that uh, in the project i will be give you more example waiting for that uh, here you can add a displacement map here you can change the color opacity as i said before in a material explained it before it's very easy but don't change it it's a simple top stitch in a configuration you can define in which part this top stitch will be appear for example as you can see this top stitch just go in a uh, out, uh, <coughs> front if you want it you can uh, select it and uh, go in a back or both side as you can see if you select it if you select it the top stitch now give to the both side of the fabric the front and the back and here you can also define uh, lines any line that you want again one you can change uh, if you uh, add a line here for example two line uh, you can change the distance between them and it's something it's another interesting one another interesting thing is if you go in here we have a a 3d if you in active the 3d uh, active a 3d as you can see this then it's give a normal map to you that uh, uh, simulate a hole uh, bump uh, exactly below the uh, top stitch here you can change the intensity of that as you can see it's not real 3D, but uh, it creates a hole for you that, for, for example, a top stitch make a bump in, a, in your fabric. Okay, in simulated like a 3D with a normal map. It's uh, not really, it's an uh, angle that uh, just seen in the camera and in a render. Okay, it's not real 3D bump. Uh, it's a hole, it's a hole that's, for example, top stitch put in this in that you can turn off or on this 3d if you want to uh, render and the top stitch looks like better but in most cases we don't need that okay this is an uh, all properties in top stitch here it's very easy and straightforward in the project i will be give you more example about the how to insert a, a custom texture or <clears throat> 3d uh, so you learn if you want you can add another top stitch for example if you add another top stitch here it's an active now and you can for example uh, zigzag okay and now if you create a new top stitch here from for example a free top stitch as you can see the new uh shape of the top stitch with a new sitting will appear here if you want to go back to default you can click it and tick if you uh, assign a new top stitch or default top stitch will be happy here. okay it's uh, like a fabric you can add any top stitch that you want and assign to your project and save it here okay and that's it Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.